Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to Let's Try Project High Rise. Project High Rise is basically a modern take on the classic Sim Tower game. Really excited about having this come out. This is a pre-release build. Uh, currently, Project High Rise is due to come out summer 2016. There's no actual date set yet that I am aware of, but uh, hopefully this is right around the corner. Really excited to be looking into this. Uh, I have played through the tutorial and dabbled just a tiny bit in new game to try to get a bit of a feel for it, and that's about it. Really excited to see a mods button right on the main screen. It is a pre-release build, so there's no mods currently available, and I don't know how what exactly is moddable in the game or not, but just the ability to add more types of offices and apartments and and um, character types and maybe new visuals would be really exciting. Always nice. Whenever you have any kind of building game, I think modability is really important to keep the game going forever. There's also a scenario mode over here with a large variety of scenarios, some of which are locked because you need to get some metals in the other ones uh, first. I haven't loaded these, but basically they do start you off with an existing building, maybe certain types of restrictions or criteria that you have to meet, and it's a nice little other way to play. But I'm sure most people are going to be playing, playing in the pure or sandbox mode over here. Every time you uh, you hit new game, it randomly generates sort of a name for your, your building. Sometimes it's a name for the building, sometimes it's an address like this one. 875 North Michigan Avenue. There we go, that's us. Very exciting name. Of course, we can also just go in and change that and name it whatever we want. Our four difficulty levels that affects starting cash, the economy of the area, how easy it is to get loans, slash how expensive they are, and so on and so forth. I'm going to leave it on standard. I'm also going to leave the lot sta size on standard over here which is going to give us actually a fair amount of space to build in. You can also restrict yourself to a narrow configuration, which is yeah, quite a bit slimmer, but gives you more vertical height to work with that you're allowed. So there's like the maximum buildable area. You could go short and squat, or you could also go extra large, which is the same height as standard, but quite a bit more width. I'll just load it up on standard and go there. And of course, this might be the sort of thing that, you know, the specifics of that changes uh, post-release or might be moddable, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and get that started. And there we go in the game. I do love the, the visual style, especially once we develop this a little bit more, you'll really start to see it's a sort of like flat, kind of unshaded look. Uh, and I'm sure there's a specific term, I don't know if it's specific artistic look or architectural look or something like that, um, that for the visuals, but um, it's not really obvious right now because the building is so small at this time, but um, I really do quite like the, uh, the feel of it once it starts to get lively and you've got people running around all over the place. So here's our area. We can actually see our buildable area over here and our vertical area going up. Currently, we've got about 40 f stories to play with. Uh, one of the things, I, I may refer to the ground floor as the first floor from time to time uh, because that's actually kind of the more North American way. Normally, it's first floor and then this would be the second floor. So I apologize ahead of time if there's a little bit of confusion there. We've got lots of map overlays for different values. I mean, we've got nothing going on right now, so there's nothing to to actually see that's particularly exciting, but we scare. We've got a utility overlay. Uh, same thing. There's not a whole lot to see there right now, but it's nice to see that they exist. We've got a variety of different resources. We've got the amount of money that we have, and we can click here for our budget breakdown. We've got this cool computer as well that gives us more details there. I think he's got sort of a, um, I don't know, I'm going to call it like mid to late 1980s kind of um kind of era here very basic computers when we get the offices down you've got some you'll have some computers in there with big bulky crts i don't know it might be more of a 90s thing but i mean this computer feels a little bit more 80s ish than 90s ish but we'll see how it goes so yes yeah, so we have currency we also have a value called buzz which is generated by popular retail stores restaurants some offices and generating buzz allows you to run certain types of marketing campaigns you can click on that and start to get a bit of a sense of it uh we've also got influence over here that comes from apartment residents and some types of offices and um Influence lets us unlock certain things like the ability to get artwork to decorate our lobby, for example. Um, consulting offices are one of the ways that you can get, or I guess these are the consultants. Place consultant offices to unlock upgrades to your buildings. Uh, there we go. Each upgrade costs more influence points. So we've got that. Um, we've got prestige as well. Prestige unlocks more types of uh, bigger offices, fancier offices as you get um, as you get a bigger and more impressive building, for example. And there's our population count. This does include our workers. So we start with our construction office over here. A couple of workers. They're going to be building things for us. So they do get included in our population. We've also got visitors over here. So if we do get some cool shops, we'll get visitors that come and see us. One of the neat things I will point out over here as we build floor pieces, uh, you can build unconnected. I can start sort of a second tower over here. I mean, it'll share all the resources and everything. It counts as part of the same overall building, but we could start a second tower and then we could climb up. And uh, I think you can even like build a little bit of a sky bridge later on, which is really cool. I think for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to start with the sort of a single footprint over here, but it is really nice that you can do that. Actually, I can't. 
What does it cost? Okay, so it's 10 bucks per segment here, and then it gets more expensive as you go up or more expensive as you go down. So I, I was going to give an example, but there's the, you know, the min maxi part of me does not want me to go and click and drag anything there. We will go and start build vertically here. I want to keep my lobby, I don't know, I might keep it empty and just make it pretty, or I might put some shops down here. A little coffee shop, for example, might be a good idea. So let's go and build upwards a little bit. Ooh, missed a spot over here. And um, we'll get some offices in to start with, maybe. Well, maybe we'll get some offices here, and then maybe higher up we'll build some amount of apartments. The, the funding model and the requirements change depending on it. Maybe we'll go fully just offices for now. Let's assume we're going to go up by a couple of floors over here. Now, I'll get a, a pop-up in a moment telling me that my people can't reach here, and that is indeed the case. We've got They've got stairs here, so we've got stairs that can go from the ground floor into the basement, or vice versa, but we've got nothing that can go up. So we can either build more stairs, but, you know... Um, that's, that's not particularly swanky. I think we are going to want, um, elevators. Note, there are fire exits on the outside, so in case of emergency, people can still walk. And do I just want to build this here? I'm, th I'm considering building it next to the electrical closet. Actually, I'm going to leave one extra gap next to the electrical closet for reasons. So I'm going to go and get some elevators going up over here. And now we've got our workers. We've got Joyce over here and we've got Glenn as well. So Joyce is going to build the elevator for us. And then once that's constructed, people will be able to go upstairs and constructify things over there. Yes, I know my staff can't get there. Thank you very much for the pop-up. Good tutorial system, I got to say, plus the conceptual stuff to let you know when there's a problem. Um, oh, looks like Glenn is going to be able to go upstairs right away. So that's nice, and he'll work on that side of things. We can fast forward this, which I'm going to do now. Whack, 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 whack with the hammer. And then we'll get some of the space done. Why are you... Oh, I'd like to get some lunch, but where? Ah, oh, yeah, he wants some food. Sorry, Glenn, no food yet. You'll have to bring your own pack lunch, but we'll get you there. So they're going to get uh, these walls, these panels installed, get everything set up. Wish I could get some coffee. Poor guy. Yeah, they're getting a little bit less happy here. Well, that's really unfortunate. And then we'll just let them finish their work, and then we'll get some offices in here. We could actually start getting one in now, but I'll work, wait until they've got a little bit more done. Nearly the end of the day. What, what's the time here? So it's about 8 p.m. coming up now. Uh, I, I think your construction workers might stick around and work, like, all 24-7. But the rest of your inhabitants, you will definitely see a flow in and out of your buildings. Uh, I wonder how they prioritize which tiles they're going to work on, because they left a little bit of stuff unfinished over here, which is fine. I'm just kind of curious. There we go. Anyway, we can start placing some things down now. So, I want to go get some offices. So right now, I only have access to small offices. You can see we need at least two prestige for the medium, and more and more for the large and the HQ. So we'll place some small offices here, here, and we've got room for another, but we do have to wait for that to finish up. So, we, we've placed the office, but we have to see who's interested in moving in. So right now, uh, we've got... in. Five insurance companies that are interested, five accounting offices. Uh, legal doesn't want, they want a variety of small restaurants before they're interested in coming in. So we will have to put a bit of a coffee shop on the ground floor before that happens. And the creative offices also want oh, cafes and a prestige of at least one. So the insurance offices tend to be the less picky, apparently. They do need electricity and some of these need copy services. Others may not, though. Okay, all of these expect coffee, uh, copy service. And then over here, you can see our accounting offices, while they are willing to pay more, they want copy services, courier services, and electricity. And some of them will want, see, this This we needs a phone line as well. So we'll get started with the insurance offices. Looks like they're all paying about 90. So that's randomized. There is, oh, I forgot to show that off. On the screen where you set up your game, you can pick, um, there's like a, a room for like a random seed, which will affect all sorts of things like the economy and so on and so forth. So in my last game, they were offering me 110 or 120 per day these insurance offices so these guys are a little cheaper and they didn't need the courier service so we're going to be financially a little bit more hard up so we'll get you down and i guess i'll go ahead and set up a few more over here may as well try to hit critical mass and we'll just uh, we'll load this up with um i guess all the insurance offices and uh you don't oh that's interesting you don't know of any potential uh, tenants of this type. Advertising the space for rent will get the word out. So we can spend 50 bucks to advertise for more insurance offices. Uh, advertisement is running. Did I click on that accidentally to get it started? Or maybe it runs it automatically. I don't know. We're going to leave that empty for now. We'll get these built up. And as soon as it happens, we'll actually get some errors because it's going to complain about the missing resources, right? For example, they're going to complain that they don't have electricity. So how do we get that there? Well, there is this utility mode over here 
where we've got electricity. Electricity comes in from this transformer. This one here can support 10 buildings with uh, electrical connections. So that's gonna do us just fine for now. You can build wiring closets to run certain types of utility, electrical, phone, and cable vertically up. So if we get a wiring closet, say there and there, electricity will go up vertically. Something is displeased a uh, tenant, that's because they're complaining here that they don't have electricity. So then we can run the electrical lines horizontally so that they're all wired up. Now that's only part of it because they also all want copy services, if I recall correctly. So, was it copy or courier? I don't remember. Oh, there's a worker having a good day. Great stuff. I think, well, we'll just wait until we get a pop-up because we should get, considering moving out. I'm pretty sure that's what they needed. Well, you're no longer cranky. Maybe, maybe you, maybe you're okay. We'll see if there's another e error that starts to come up. There we go. More insurance people waiting to come in. Expects copy services. So, oh, you don't need it. You just expect it. So we can make you happier if we provide that, which is good. Having the staircase here is a little annoying for my workers because they've got to go up here and then go over to the elevator. But that's okay. They can use the exercise. So copy services. So you've got a button over here to add services to support your building's tenants. If we go here, it's divided between offices and apartment dwellers. And the office ones, we can see copy service over here. It'll cost us 300 bucks to build. There's no rent. I don't know if there's upkeep, but they're responsible for making copies for us. Now, we can put this in a large number of different places. I think we can just go and stuff them into the basement, and that's going to be okay. And so people can run down here if they want to make copies. Sure. And then someone will have to go and build that, but it should make these people happier. So what time is it? It is nearly 8, so I think some people are about to come to work. And, oh, you know what we should do is we should give them a little cafe. So we've got, I'll build one right next to the elevator that I think makes a lot of sense on the ground floor. And we've got three tenants. We've got City View To Go Sushi, Red Bull Bagels, New Orleans Burger Shop. Well, this would pay more, but I think we're going to go and get bagels. Breakfast and lunch, I think that's a good start for us. They want a high traffic area. Well, they're going to be right next to the elevator on the ground floor, so that should be a fair amount of uh, traffic. They also want electricity, so we'll just run those lines out there. You can see here in the utilities, there's a lot more. There's phone, cable TV, which I assume is mostly for apartment dwellers, water, and gas as well. Luckily, no one needs anything yet, which is good because the only thing we've got is the electrical transformer here. We don't have a switchboard yet, but we will get there. So this office satisfaction is good. Yeah, we've got our copy center over there. So it costs us 50 per day. It doesn't pay us any rent. That's fine. So how's our, um, you know what we didn't do? We didn't take an extra contract. We do start this game with a, a single contract, proof of concept over here. So if we can get our rent revenue up to a thousand per day, we will get 500 bucks as a bonus and also generates some buzz for us as a reward. We've also got a few others we can use over here. 16 offices, 500 population. Studio apartments. I think we'll work on basic offices. So if we can get up to 16 small offices, we will get... So first of all, we get 500 bucks up front, which is nice. And we'll get 1,000 we, when we complete it. Um, and we get some influence. So we'll sign this contract. So right now, I, we can only have two contracts over here. So we'll work on that. Oh, you want variety. Oh, I didn't realize that. So it's not just 16 offices. You want four of each type. So we've overdone it a little bit on the insurance, but that's, that's fine. So... We're definitely gonna need more space for more offices. So the question is, do we grow vertically? Do we grow horizontally? It is a little bit more expensive to, to build vertically, but it's not too bad. I think actually I will build over to the right over here. So we'll have the central elevator and I think that's gonna be pretty good. So we can add more floor pieces. I can't I can't just build them hanging in midair. Although I think you can build support pillars. I think there are, I saw something about that. I just don't know how to do it right now. This is building staff, maintenance offices. That sounds good, right? Trash collection storage room for retail storage oh so if we have shopping in here they're going to want to be able to store their stuff you know not just in the shop and build a metro station need a hundred people or more and a consultant for a public transit well we'll get back to that upgraded elevator does not need to start on the ground floor Ooh. so we got some variety here anyway what i want to do right now is so we need four tiles for a small office so let's go four eight 16 did i count that out right that looks about right i mean we can always make changes pretty easily so i want to go and extend our territory over here so this will let us put an extra 12 offices in which 
is not quite enough. So let's go ahead and add... Although, yeah, oh, I'm forgetting the ground floor. Do I want to put offices on the ground floor? Oh, you can see there! I could, I could leave a gap be between. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, do I want to put more offices on the ground floor or not? Some people might like it, but I, I think I want to keep the ground floor for shopping whenever possible. All right, there we go. Red Bull bagels coming together. So I think we will start another story. Do I want to do that right now? Yeah. First click doesn't seem to take, and then we'll get an elevator in position over there. All right. We might need more builders, actually, to build this at an appreciable rate. We'll see how it goes. So right now we are definitely losing money, which is pretty harsh. Oh, it's mostly construction costs that it's uh, factoring in there. Okay, so... Budget details, costs, utilities, infrastructure. I, I don't think it's counted rent yet either. So I think we're going to do okay. Yeah, rent revenue is not being counted. I think we're going to be fine. Let's find out. So right now we're losing 420 per day. 420 every day. I mean, how much we're earning or losing right now. What do we have here? Works at the copy center. Oh, those are, okay. Copy center employees. Excellent. So, it's interesting. I guess this was a time when maybe people couldn't afford their own, uh, their own photocopiers. Every office didn't have, like, a, a scanner, printer, photocopier set up. So you had centralized copy service for the entire building. I bet you that was a thing. All right. Joyce, you want a cup of coffee right now? Yep. Well, I mean, you can get a bagel at least, and you can probably get coffee from the bagel place. I mean, come on. Right? That must be. Um, can we get anyone else out over here? We might want to build some more. I don't know. Is there a way to find out, like, I wonder, like, how busy are they compared to other people? Um, do we need more shopping? Oh, here we go. Is it lunchtime? It is lunchtime. It's noon. Look at that. And they're all lined up. There's, what, three people in line there. I wonder if I had more, if more people would come down. We'll just call it good enough for now. So let's do some fast forwarding. And complete the ground floor first, which is probably the one I'm a little less interested in. We, um, let's see. Right, consultant offices, artwork, which we need to unlock with things, decorative elements. So we need at least one prestige before we can start uh, putting up wallpaper in our lobby and making things a little bit prettier. And we will get prestige when we hit 20 population is going to be the first tick. So we're going to be fine there. Okay, so what I want is I want more offices here, here, and then we're not quite there yet, but we want to start bringing in some accountants at this point. So, there we go, they are paying a lot more. Electrical line, copy service, ah, oh, they got the happy from the copy service, nice. They do want a courier service added in for maximum happy, but we'll get them started uh, with this anyway. So they still only need electricity, which is nice, so we don't have to worry about adding any more services quite yet. I'm going to go ahead and extend the electricity out to the entire floor, because everyone wants electricity. And we'll remember a wiring closet on the next level as well. I'm still leaving a gap in there, and it's going to be for water services later on. That's what this extra little gap is in there for. I'm planning for the future. So let's keep things going up pretty fast over here. Build the apartments, or the, um, the offices, and we'll get more people moving in. So when do we get our rent process? It still hasn't given us a revenue count yet. Probably at the end of the day. It's our first full day in there. So, yeah. Lee tax, city tax, one employee each. And we've got room for another office there as well. And another accounting office. There we are. And the other two need something before I'm allowed to bring them in. We'll see what that is. I think we can start bringing in um, another type of office now, too, that we've got a cafe of some type. All right, cash flow. It's not looking great, but now if we look here... Our rent is being processed, so we are going to be running a profit at this point, less any construction expenses. And we're actually very close to completing our first mission of accrue $1,000 in rent. So tomorrow we will actually complete that, which is nice to see. So I'm going to let uh, my builders finish building what they're working on over here. So there's no fire exits on this side. So if there is a fire, the people over here are much more likely to die than the people on the left-hand side. What? What is this? Not an electric tr electrical transformers. That's true, actually. Because this only handles up to 10, so we're short on power. So, ooh, 50. But we don't really have the space. Um, we, we're going to need more, because we're going to need a lot more than just this little guy can handle. So I think I will go and extend this out. I also think I'm going to build another staircase over here. They're not that expensive, and this gives my people a, a faster way to get to the elevator. 
it's more centralized and if I build downwards I will just continue this staircase in fact I could even bulldoze this one but I'll leave it in there for now it's, oh, it's got maintenance actually ten dollars per day problem one of the elevator shafts it's going to mean that people traveling from the affected floor will experience a much longer wait time than usual oh look at that um if you have a building maintenance office they'll send someone to fix it as soon as they can if you don't have one I would think about building one right away so yeah I don't think we've got a maintenance we've got a construction office but we don't actually have a maintenance so we need that where would that be building staff maintenance office oh we need this to actually get built hmm well I guess we're gonna have to do without an elevator for a little while I wonder if there's any way I can have these guys prioritize a section. Because I need this section to get built up before I pl place down my maintenance thing. Alright, well, we'll live with it for now. That's going to be okay. And yeah, we do need more power. And I, I want to put down one of the bigger power things. Probably. We'll have to make a decision. Compare the cost. So if we do look, right? So this is 10 connections. I don't really care about the build cost. So 10 connections is 250 per day. 50 connections is 750. So it's three times the per day cost but you get five times the power, so the bigger, more efficient uh, generator seems to be the way to go. In fact, I'm tempted to just bulldoze this old one. Oh, that's a good idea. Why don't we do that? Because there's going to be room here. And now no one's going to have any power, but only for a second. Don't worry, we'll get it back. Build that, and oh, it doesn't have to be built. It comes in instantly. Wonderful. Yeah, they're unhappy because they have to wait for the broken elevator. Uh... Well, sorry. Ten is considering moving out. I mean, they did have no power for a while, and people are unhappy because of the broken elevator. We just need our building staff to come and develop this area over here so I can actually get a maintenance office. All right, working on the staircase, and I think the stuff behind the staircase. So some things, which makes sense, I guess. Stairs and elevators can be built even before the floor proper sort of gets constructed, which is, I guess makes sense because you need to be able to get there. All right, now we need... What am I looking for... Uh, here, building staff, maintenance office. Go. There we are. So someone over here, we need to wait. Okay, we need to wait for that to get built. And so they will automatically, they repair broken elevators and escalators, renovate parts of the building, become worn out, and we can pay to do quick renovations. So, oh, there we go, in blue. So presumably one of these guys, they might go to their, their building first. We'll go and fix that up. Oh, there we go. Excellent. It's expensive, but we're going to need it. So hopefully you're not so cranky anymore. Building needs maintenance. Yeah, that's what you're specifically, your workers complaining about. But that has happened, so hopefully you'll be a little happier now. Okay, let's go back to placing some offices. We need uh, one more accountant's office, which I will put in here. What are you complaining about? Oh, greater variety of food court restaurants. Okay. Um, you'd probably pay me more if we had that. Let's see here. Let's add an extra food court option over here. What do we've got? Um, let's get some sushi. This is very hip and trendy. We'll get that to build. And then I want to see if we can get um, a more valuable tenant for this last slot over here. So we'll let that get built, maybe. I know, you're on a coffee break? Come on, Glenn. Oh, someone else is working on it. And you don't have power. So let's just extend that out that way. So now, can I get a fancier client over here? So another accountant, and I can. And they do definitely pay a little bit more. Ooh, these guys want phone lines. All right, let's still just go with the Eagle Tax Service then, for now. Although we will need phone services really soon. Really quite soon, actually. Because I'm betting that as we build the next line of offices, so we want some lawyers. And not all of them want phones. But most of them. All right, we should just really bring in the phone service here. Um, so we need... I mean, we're going to need a switchboard. So we're going to do that. And, yeah, I'll assume everyone on this floor might want that. So now when we can pick anyone here. Oops, legal offices, yeah. The ones who want the... Interestingly enough, the one who's willing to pay the most only wants electricity. There we go. And... There we go. All 
all 115, so... I mean, I guess we could wait for this list to regenerate. We might be able to find someone more valuable. But we'll get them started that way anyway. All right, and then we'll let that... I want to let this finish first, and then I'll queue up some extra buildings. We'll try to get the creatives in there and complete the basic offices. It's also going to give us uh, progress towards the rent and also higher population. Just reach one-star prestige. Great step towards fame and glory. Yeah, look down at the bill menu. Some of your new decoration options unlock because you're higher prestige. So that's over here. Decorative elements, wallpapers, furniture, indoor plants, lighting options. Ooh. Oh, they're free to build. They might, they might need to maintain them miscellaneous wall clocks and so on so we can grab um pretty wallpaper you no no bad full height windows nice now that i like for the lobby okay that's what we're gonna do very nice what else did we have reinforced glass two separate top and bottom panes and we could throw some of that maybe in these in between bits actually let me take the full-size one you can't really see it but we'll do that anyway um reinforced glass and then it just puts in the, the door as well you know what let's remove that that i don't care about what else can we do let's put in some furniture down here so right when you walk in we'll get the ooh, plush green armchair right here and maybe a plant next to that shiny snake plant madagascar dragon plant lovely whoa i completed proof of concept excellent that's the, oh, make enough money one. Cool. And, oh, a little palm tree over here. There we go. That's lovely. We're going to do that. Um, so let's go and get another contract. Specifically, I want the one incremental income. 3,000 per day. Yeah, we'll take the one that, that for 50 people first. I don't know if, uh, if you complete it out of order. I think you can just probably take the contract and have it, like, instantly succeed. I would hope so. It would suck to sort of lose out on the opportunity. So I don't know if you can put more decoration in these offices. Like, the offices seem pretty full. Um, what am I looking for? Can we give you a plant? No. Well, we can put plants in here, which actually might not be too bad. Again, at some point, I'm looking to maybe run some water or something up here, but for now, that might be okay. Oh, I just realized one of the things this building doesn't have are bathrooms. I wonder if at any point that, that becomes a service that we can build somewhere. Because it seems like there should be restrooms. Maybe they're implied, but I don't know. I would have liked to have to need to build them. Uh, right, so there's a phone. There's that. We've got the little gap over here, but that's okay. You guys are all just chilling on your break. Uh, well, I mean, obviously we do need more because we want to try to get these creatives in there. I don't know what kind of requirements they're going to have. So, creative offices. Needs a greater variety of cafes. So, how much of a variety of cafes? Small cafe, food court. Well, I mean, I guess we'll just we'll build another one. I'll build a, yeah, over here. Oh, 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 food court restaurants as opposed to cafes. Oh, we need our prestige to actually have. Ah, oh, excellent. Um, ooh, proletariat cafe. This uh, Cafe Budapest is the one that's worth the most. They need a, okay, they all need, no, only this one needs water. We are going to want water at some point, but I think I'm going to hold off for now. So I'll grab the proletariat coffee. And you need electricity, so we're going to do that. So we are going to delay the, the water for a little bit longer. Is that actually covering it? I don't know. We'll do that, just in case. So we'll find out if that's enough. Can I use them now? Oh, there we go. Excellent. So you want electrical line, phone line. You want courier services, bottled water. Yeah, so that they expect it. And we will do that because we do need courier offices for quite a few. So let's go ahead and get our creative offices all in here. Office supply store. Wow. They want a lot of different stuff. But the important thing is that they have electricity and that they have phone lines. That's the minimum. So we'll wait for more creative offices to come in. We could advertise, but yeah, we'll just we'll just wait. Probably someone else will come in at some point. Um so services. So we have the copy thing. There's a couple people who do want the courier. So we're going to throw that in. And bottled water service. I think what we're going to do is go ahead and expand downwards here. We'll just expand in a little bit. Yeah, the first click. I don't know why it's not taking. Maybe I'm moving too quickly. That's possible. So we're going to throw a staircase down there. And we will 
I guess we're not going to be able to put down the bottled water service yet. No. These are people who go around with the big jugs of water and refill the little coolers. So I'm just going to run it at speed two for a little bit here. We're nearly out of funds, but we are still turning a daily profit, or are we? I added extra... I, I don't think it's counted in new revenue. So, you know, we're going to turn a new profit at the end of the day. But I may have to just uh, settle a little bit down with my expenses. So, yeah, there's middling amounts of happiness. Building needs maintenance. We had a maintenance thing. Are you still cranky about before? Our employees seem unhappy here. Courier service needed. No one picked up our urgent delivery. Well, we're working on it. That's our courier over here. So you will get that really soon. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to avoid having to place an ad. I don't know. That does seem to happen because these have regenerated. So if we're not in a hurry, we can just wait. So we'll wait another day. And if there's still not another creative type interested in coming in, then at that point we'll place an ad. But for now, we're just going to uh, be patient. They like being in a high traffic area. Ooh, did not turn a profit. Too few customers or too much competition. We do have two food places because I thought we needed that for the cafes. We'll be okay. You're going to get some more customers in the building. Don't worry about it. You'll turn a profit. I, I promise. Okay. I shouldn't promise. No, actually, I should promise. That's entirely, exactly my role here. Promise people the world. Um, career present, present, but maybe insufficient. Because some people have complained about not getting their deliveries, but they will get it soon. So it's probably fine. And we do need to get... Um, we do need to get some utilities down here, too. Can I drop this down? I can. Good. All right, preemptively get some power also hooked up in there. And we'll finish our last creative office in a moment. Well, as soon as they show up in here. It will be a nice reward. I can't. I think we're getting another 1,500 when we complete that, which is going to be quite nice. And again, we should be turning a profit. We did add some extra um, services in here, but I think we're going to be fine. Hopefully. So that's the end of the day. We'll process the rent at the end of the day. I don't think it'll count the rent for the offices that just spawned in. I think they need to be here for a full day. So the creative things, I don't think will pay us money. Which means that the day after this will be even more of a profit. But I don't think we'd counted the um, the law offices yet. So we'll see what our, our income is at midnight. So we're going top speed over here. Everything's been built up. But yeah, definitely we did add a lot more expenses. I'd be curious to see if these guys turn a profit. All right. And indeed, we are... Rent revenue, 1400 and so far today. Yeah, good stuff. And over here, we can actually see another view that's really helpful. Rent revenue, far exceeding operational costs. So we're only losing money from the construction itself. And it's a new day. Do we get a new creative office? Not yet. All right, well, we'll just be patient. I don't know. You know what? I don't like being patient. Place an ad. So wait a couple of hours, and then we'll get a response. Water services here. Courier services there. So now if we look, these people are now satisfied. Oh, you are you seem unhappy. Building needs maintenance. It's not true. We have maintenance. What are you complaining about? Maybe it needs to be printed up a little bit. We've got overlays that are helpful. Aesthetics. Mm, okay. Profitability in the red over there. That's not good. Satisfaction. Okay. It's halfway decent. No one's getting a view yet. Oh, traffic. Yeah, that's really, really helpful, actually. So the coffee shop presumably gets less traffic. So people seem to come in and out on the left. And then here, these guys, there is the coffee shop with the staircase for all our maintenance people that go downstairs. So it means if I built more shops over here, they wouldn't really do as well. So I might want to... Oh, I can see the doors now. Oh, I wasn't noticing that before. So there's a door here. There's actually no doorway over here. Oh, there's the bus stop. Now I understand. So yeah, definitely want all our shops to be left. In fact... Um, I'm happy I put my elevator as far right as I did because that gives us more spots for that. So if we expand the building anymore, I should expand leftwards because we'll have more room for shops over here um, on, as people go on their way to the elevator. Alternatively, I mean, in the interest of speed, I might want to build a second elevator over here. But would that make the shop suffer? I don't know. They might be okay in the end. Creative offices, excellent. Avant-garde design would pay the most. Right, so you should be okay. That'll be a couple of people now who want an office supply store. Which I I think I will go ahead and just build. Office supply services. Not present, but desired by tenants. And yeah, maybe we need more courier services too. We'll see how it goes. We'll give we'll give the current courier services a couple of days and see if they're satisfied with that. So yeah, so I love seeing the people move around. I like the little, you know, the different colored uniforms. Uh, again, this sort of flat graphic look, I think. 
and uh, there's, there's a term and it can't I don't know it's like it's that sort of like cutout look there's a term for this art style and I'm just not artsy enough to be you know to, to know it but that sort of vector drawing style or something but it even it precedes that I think pretty sure it precedes computers oh basic offices are done we got a reward payment of a thousand bucks oh right that was getting four of each type which is very nice we still need to get up to 50 people for the next contract and what else can we take um, I don't think I can sign this one yet oh I could well we're 79% of the way to 3,000 rent income so that's great oh these are the ones that aren't available in industry diversification we need at least two stars of prestige before we can do that, which as soon as we hit population of 40, which we're on the cusp of doing, we will get our second prestige. Oh, this is for medium offices. Right, that's, that'll be the other thing too, is when I hit the second star, I can start placing medium offices, which are probably a lot more profitable. We can also start on apartments at some point. Oh, I don't know if I talked about it, but one of the cool things you can do is you don't have... I, I forgot that. I can't drag while I'm doing that. Um, hmm. Let me bold with that because it'll look kind of dumb. All right, what you can do is you can start your floors disconnected. I can start a new building over here. I mean, it's part of the same building. They share all their services and everything. But if you want, you can start sort of a second tower. And I think you can bridge across as well, which is kind of nifty. Destination unavailable. No, no, it's fine. You don't have anything to do over there. Incremental income, good. Office supplies over here. So I think that's all the services people had been asking about before. Well, I guess what's nice is when you go here and you look, you can get some information. So yeah, maybe you want more courier... But not presence, no demand, so no one needs a janitorial service. So that's actually quite helpful. And that's that's just the office um, support services. There's also the apartment support services. Handyman, plumber, laundromat, dog walking, dry cleaning, floral arrangement services. Some people require, like, regular floral arrangements. That must be some pretty high-end stuff. I mean, you can't even build it until you get five stars of prestige. Which is kind of nutters. All right. Color me impressed. So we are turning our profit. Um... I guess we would like to hit the next population milestone. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go and extend the bottom floor here because we will need more ser uh, supply or, um, services at some point. And what am I going to do for the next ticket population? We could build another shop. I could build another office. At the cafe space. Offices for these guys. We need more influence before that happens. So my influence is going up. Apartment residents and select offices. I think, I don't know what offices generate the influence, actually. Uh -huh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Need my coffee to function in the morning? Yeah, who doesn't, buddy? Quick bite. All right, the end of the day, so we'll get paid some more. Uh, oh, elevator's broken, but is being fixed, which is nice. So I guess I'll just build one more small office. There we go. Just get some extra population in there. And, I don't know, we'll build another creative office over here. They're going to be satisfied with everything. Let's get that. And you will need your utilities running in that direction, which we haven't done yet. So let's get you power and phone. We're actually getting very close to hitting our telephone limit. Because we can run 10 offices with that, and we've got... These eight plus that one wired up. And I'm sure all the medium quality offices are all going to need phones. So we're going to switch to a bigger switchboard at that point. We might leave the old one in there. I don't know. Although it's not really cost efficient. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll play that one by ear. But this should bring us up to 40, which will give us another star. There it is. Level 2 prestige. So now, oh, everything turns golden when there's new stuff. Ah. Does it keep highlighting it over here? Storage rooms. Oh, that's for the retail shopping, which I guess is now unlocked. Level 2 medium offices. Oh, they're huge. They're a lot bigger than expected. Oh, there's not enough room. I guess I could add a couple extra tiles. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we'll put one medium office on the ground floor. I kind of like that idea. Because it might increase co traffic to the service here. Or to the Traffic to the coffee place. I'm going to do that. What the heck? Ooh, medical offices. You need a drugstore. Creative and technical offices. Bigger legal offices. Okay, creative and technical. Oh, what do you need? You need a greater variety of restaurants that serve lunch and a greater variety of small stores. What about legal offices? Oh, we literally can't. We can't build any of these. Err. 
apartment rentals, retail space, okay. And we don't get the second level of restaurants yet. Okay, let me, I know, I think we spent some money doing that, but let me bulldoze that office. We'll get some shopping on the ground floor. Small store, which I think these guys will need that retail storage space. Let's do that. Food and beverage store, portable electronics, books, news, magazines, drugstore. Let's build a drugs. Oh, what do you need? You need a storeroom with one empty bay. All right, where was that? Was that here? I don't remember. No, no, no. That was infrastructure. Over here, storerooms. Valid placement. It has to be below ground. Ooh, it's quite large. So, again, I'm going to keep one gap here just because there's the possibility of the second set of utility closets for water. So we'll get that built. Oh, getting achievements here in the black. Oh, because I turned a profit for the first time. What other achievements have I picked up? You guys won't be able to see uh, on your screen. Hang on. Because of the way I've got things loaded here. But I want to just read off. I've gotten two so far. What was my other achievement? Since the game's in pre-release, I may actually not be able to load my screen for that. No, I actually can't get that information. Uh, you can only see the latest one. If the game's in pre-release, the, uh, the the page for it, for the achievements, is sort of locked in kind of an odd way in, in Steam. It's a very standard thing to do, or to see. All right, so this is total base four, occupied, available four. Okay, so now I can run a drugstore. Uh, these guys will pay slightly more. So the only difference, there's no difference. All right, they need electricity and a phone line. So, let's make sure you've got electricity and a phone line. Now, I don't know if this counts as someone who uses up a phone line. We can't really tell, do we? Uses storage bay. Oh, there it is! So, they're keeping their extra stuff over there that they can sell to customers. That's fascinating. So, now I think I can build a medical office after this. Now, hopefully they get enough traffic there. It is on the ground floor, so it should be relatively easy. And hopefully people going to these shops will pass the coffee, or... I don't know. Did not turn a profit yesterday. Too few customers, too much competition. Yeah, okay, so we'll definitely build fewer restaurants. These guys are making a profit. So the sushi is, the bagels are not. Sells medicine and fills prescriptions. And yeah, we can tweak their rent. And we can do that globally as well. Where is that? Uh, here. Change rent for everyone. Economy forecast. Acceptable but declining. Tenants may become more upset with high rents. Oh, so right now, the world economy is kind of kind of poop. So we may not be able to push the rents as much. But if we get into some sort of boom, then maybe that'll change. Are you working? Oh, you're working at the bagel place. So, I guess in for our medium offices, I think we're going to go and extend to the next floor. Well, again, we sort of have the, the, the weird spacing over here. Destination unreachable, right? We need another elevator. It's quite expensive. Let me get it started anyway. Um, we can also make sure we've got a wiring closet in place here. And they are all going to want power and phone over here. I like the little sound effects. It's nice. You know, just tiny little music in the background, get that going on. So yeah, build this up, and we'll get a medium office, and see if we can get that medical office locked in. And then we'll probably have to call it quits. This preview has gone on long enough, but I don't know. This could actually turn into a little Let's Play. I was just thinking of one episode, you know, whatchamacallit, a little preview. Uh, the game is not out yet, so obviously things may change between now and release. But, I don't know, kind of digging this. Alright, so, medium office here. They are huge. Uh, medical office. What do you need now? Greater variety of small stores. So the drugstore is not enough for you. Alright, I am going to expand out to the side here. What were we short by? Was it just one? No, I think it needs one more. And if we're going to fit another medium office up there, we're going to need the extra... Sp oh, quite a bit more space, actually. Well, well, we'll wait for that, but I will go and extend this out a little bit more. Look, our building looks a little bit derpy right now, but that's okay. Anyone else who could bring in at this point? No. So what do you guys need? Restaurants, right, and you needed... Oh, lots of things. Okay, so the medical office is going to be the easiest to fit in, but it does need a small store. Another small store. It needs a drugstore, and it needs presumably at least one more. 
Where's our, uh, oh, I was going to say, where's our construction people? They're up there. I could build a second construction office, but I don't, I don't think that's ever going to be enough of an issue. I mean, we are always going to be building, but are we ever going to be building so much that we need, like, 15 people going and hammering away at stuff? So, small store. Get you in there. And I like portable electronics. So you want phone line. You'll pay us. Okay, you'll pay us 240 What else we get? Well, we've got the drug stores already. Food and beverage stores. Milk, groceries. No, portable electronics it is. Boom. And let me make sure that you've got electricity and telephone. And yeah, we're definitely need another wiring closet. Can we get counts as to how many are hooked up right now? Oh, total production, total demanded. Oh, excellent. It definitely shows that um, the, even our phone lines that go through these offices, some of the offices don't count as, you know, using up one of the phone lines. So that's good to see. And I can pick you up right now. Northwestern Medical Suite. Oh, and they, they need water as well. They also would like janitorial services and file storage services. But what they need is water. They also prefer lower floors. I don't know if this counts as a low enough floor, but I can see why. They want, you know... They're, they're seeing customers, in a, in a sense. I mean, I don't know, or patients, I suppose I should say. But, like, some of these guys don't necessarily see people as often. Well, let's hope that counts as low enough, otherwise we'll have to eject some people. But the size is awkward. Look, so these are, I guess that's ten wide, and these small offices are four wide. So when, considering your construction setup, you'll have to sort of plan some of that. Um, but yes, water. So, we need water source now. We'll get... Uh, oh, oh, is that not room there? Oh, I can't afford it! Uh-oh. So they're going to be really unhappy because they don't have any water. I could take out a loan. That's never gone badly in any of my games. We are also turning a profit. Payments. I'd have to do the math to figure out which one of these is most efficient. Oh, this is the same. It's just double. Are they all like that? 30 of... I think so at a glance. I'm assuming the math all works out that it's all the same. So, okay, let's take out a credit card. And we'll put some stuff on there. That's fine. Could possibly go wrong with that. Um, the idea that the credit card interest is the same as the other interest is ludicrous, but, you know, whatever. So we need plumbing closets to be able to send things vertically. So that's the main water pipe, and then it gets processed over there. So, there we go. So we need to run this... Uh, all right, I can't scroll in here. Well, I can use the arrow keys, so that's okay. So we've got that there, and then we'll get a water connection. That goes that way. And there we go, and that satisfies them. A little medical office over here. Oh, look at that. It's got... Stop looking at me like that. Go away. Wish I could get some coffee. There's a coffee shop downstairs. A little waiting room, reception place, and the actual examination room. And this probably... I didn't actually check. I assume it's got... Yeah, two employees. There we go. Very cool. I like that. And here, we're selling giant cell phones look at that it's like giant brick phones i love it i love it so much yeah definitely i, I still don't know exactly what the era is supposed to be but i'm gonna say probably more like late 80s early 90s that i think that suits things i mean look at the giant computers here with the crts and so yeah it's sort of a nice chill zen game i was a big fan of sim tower way way back in the day i never played ute tower which was sort of i think it came after and was a little bit more developed um but sim tower yeah Huge fan, played it for hours and hours and hours, and I can definitely see me putting some more time in here. Um, check the description box down below. It'll let you know if there's a playlist for this or if this was the only episode. It'll partially depend on my schedule. I was only planning to do a one-shot episode, and I'm kind of wondering about continuing to develop this. I really want to see where the rest of the buildings go. Look at this, 14 Prestige gets us HQ Suites, which is pretty exciting. And um, expansive loft apartment, and 15 Prestige to reach there. And I'm sure they need... Ooh, duplex, two-bedroom, expensive. Law. I'm sure they need lots and lots and lots of service. Actually, these guys want, um, they want janitorial services and whatnot as well. If I look at my commercial stuff over here, we can see... Oh, not present, no demand. Oh, did this one not need that? I thought it did. Well, maybe we don't have any demand for anything. I thought we did, but apparently not. Everything present, operating. Yeah, no demand for the janitorial services yet. All right, cool. All right. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, folks. Do let me know in the comments or hit that like button if you do want to see some more of this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.